Ready, Chief? Yeah, I got everything loaded. We should be uh, covered for whatever the fish are doing. <laughs> you know that story. Yeah. Hey, every year, Dave and I look forward to spring. Just like millions and millions of you do, we're gonna go out on the water and chase crappies. You heard me right, crappies. There's a time to put down your walleye rods, put away the bass rods, put away the steel head gear, which you Absolutely. like to do. Yeah. And now we go and chase some crappies. Why? They're fun to catch. Sometimes they can be quite challenging and they're good to eat. And I got directions from Mary to bring some of them home tonight. So okay. uh, you uh, put uh, the pressure on. I have the pressure on. We haven't been out on, on the water yet. This is our first trip. But Dave and I have been fortunate enough, like many of our, our staff members, we fished all over the country, north, south, east, west, central, uh, some of the best crappie lakes in North America with some of the best crappie fishermen. Absolutely. And uh, that's been a blessing in itself, man. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of different ways to catch crappies, and most people will tell you the fish are either in or they're out, meaning that they're in the shallow cover, or they're not there yet and they're not biting. Well, we know the fish are always biting. <laughs> we may have to uh, we may have to try a few different tactics to try to catch them. I'll tell you one thing, uh, the, the reports have been a little inconsistent, and that would indicate to me that we're going to have to do a little bit of searching to find our fish. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. It, it's never quite what you expect it to be, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Yeah, but when you catch them, it's fun. Our first stop is to gas up the boat, pick up a few munchies, and scope out the latest intel on the crappie bite. I got the local report from the gals inside here. We haven't heard anything good on, on the fishing report so far. Nobody's catching anything yet. Hmm. Even if the fish aren't biting, we will. Then we hit the launch, ready to roll. According to the locals, the crappie bite hasn't started yet. But just in case, we first do a quick visual scan of shallow reed beds where pre-spawn crappies gather once they penetrate the shallows in earnest. As expected, we saw very few fish. That means the crappies are still hanging out at the mouths of shallow bays, waiting to come in shallow to feed. Spawning still lies many weeks away. Next, we do some scouting and probing of likely deep weed areas to make contact with fish. You gotta find them before you can catch them, much like they did back in the caveman days when hunting for food. The difference is, instead of wielding pointed sticks, we have graphite rods, a fully rigged boat, electronics, and plenty of lure options, so we're not exactly roughing it. The trick is getting the first bite. Crappies are notorious schoolers, so once we catch the first fish, there should be more nearby. Actually, I didn't even feel them hit. Nice one, Dave. Oh, yeah, nice one. That's a good start. Very, very pretty fish. And that little tiny grub. Nice little lure. Now, Al, you said Mary wants a couple of these for yeah, eating? Yeah, I'd like to keep enough, but that's a marginal size one. We'll keep him yeah, and I'm going to eat them. we won't keep any real big ones. Okay. Okay, number one. You know what? Yeah, you know, that that was your third cast, David. Yeah. Third cast that we haven't been out all... All, all season, third cast he got that fish. Fish my second cast on this little baby X rack. I'm gonna fish back through there again. I had one fish that followed that looked like a crappie. I'm almost sure it was. Another one? Yep. Another little guy. I, I'll take them. Just, just throw them in there. I'll, I'll eat those. A good fillet size. Getting respectable in here. The little guys are the ones we keep. We'll throw back the bigger ones. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get a chunk of filet off of this guy. Here, throw him back in. I'll bet you that's what your bites were. We're covering water to contact fish using slow swimming retrieves to skim the weed tops without snagging. First up is a variety of mini crankbaits that dive just a few feet deep on your retrieve. 
Rapala and Storm both make assorted lures that imitate minnows or young or small forage species. It's tough to beat a 132nd or 16th ounce jig with a curly tail. Marabou dressing or other subtle jigs work well too. Jigs allow you to pause your retrieve and drop the bait down into holes or alongside clumps, just in case the fish are down and lazy instead of up and active. We're tossing small, lightweight baits that can really be tough to cast if you don't have the right setup. We prefer a six and a half to seven foot light action quantum rod with a size 10 reel. This can cast these small baits really far and detect subtle bites. Four to six pound mono like Suffolk Elite is a good choice. Cast and swim, pause and flutter. Try a combination of lure retrieves until you get it right. The fish will tell you what they want. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that gives you about six in the box. There's six of them? Yeah. I'm gonna call Mary on the phone and tell her, get the oil ready. 